The NBC Television Network presents... Concentration. This portion of Concentration is brought to you by Miles Products, a division of Miles Laboratories, makers of Miles Nervine. One-a-day brand multiple vitamins and other fine pharmaceuticals. Now, here's your host, Hugh Dome. Welcome, everyone, to Concentration, the television game where the ability to concentrate pays off. Let's take a look at our concentration board. You see 30 numbers on this board. Behind each number, there is an object. There are 15 pairs of objects in all. Some are prizes and some are not. But each time a player matches a pair, a section of a puzzle is revealed. Now, this puzzle consists of words and drawings similar to this one. It always adds up to a well-known phrase, the title of something, something you know. In this case, I think you've already guessed, this is a title of a motion picture. It happened one night. Now, the first player to solve this puzzle wins and keeps the prizes credited to him. That's our game. You'll see how simple and fascinating it is as we get on with it. Right now, let's meet our first two contestants. A police sergeant from Queens Village, New York, Mr. Walter Farrell. Our winner from yesterday, a law student from Brooklyn, Mr. Robert Weisswasser. Good morning again, Bob. Thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you. You look fine and rested. Walter, we haven't met before, no. but you're Walter Farrell. You are a police sergeant, is that right? That's right, yes. We'll uh, <clears throat> behave. You understand how the game is played? Yes, I do. All right, you ready to do battle? I hope so. In a minute, we'll play concentration. <laughs> Every healthy youngster occasionally gets so noisy that mom's nerves are apt to get upset. Now, here's some good advice for a situation like that. Time for dinner, children. Hi. Yes, they're all mine. Pretty noisy and upsetting sometimes, too. Why, just this morning, they had me so tense and jittery, I could have cried. And I was beginning to get nervous indigestion. That's when Miles Nervine came to my rescue. Two effervescent tablets in water make a refreshing drink that soothes away tension. Why don't you try Miles Nervine when the busy job of being a mother has you all on edge? It relaxes you so you feel like your best self again. Miles Nervine has a fine reputation, too. You can take it with confidence. On restless nights, Miles Nervine relaxes you, helps you sleep like a tired two-year-old. Buy it at any drugstore. Follow the label. Avoid excessive use. To soothe jittery nerves, take Miles Nervine. Try it to help you relax. Miles Nervine. All right, the object of the game, as you know, is to solve the puzzle, which is either the title of something, a well-known phrase, or something you know. We'll start with two numbers from Walter. Number four. Four first. All right, now you have nothing to lose by matching this. Twenty-six. Twenty-six might be it. You can't possibly know where, no, it's not a match. Remember where these are, both of you. They disappear now, and it's Bob's turn. Number 19. 19 first. Again, nothing to gain here except to look at two parts of the puzzle, but see if you can match it. Number one. Number one might be it. Nope, the chapeau doesn't quite match. The board goes back. Walt, it's your turn. 14. 14 first. A wild card matches anything. If you want to pin down something you've seen, or if you want to shop around, it's up to you. Walt, what's your second number? Let me have 24. 24. All right, 24 comes into view. Oh. You won on an automatic match. <laughs> a wet sponge. Well, no prize is unimportant, as you'll see later, Walter. You did make a match. That's credited to you. Two parts of the puzzle come into view. Our first glimpse of it, two clues, which are slim ones, but if you can, uh, if you can give us what the puzzle is now, you will have the game pinned down. No, not yet. Not yet. All right, two more numbers from you. 25. 25 first. Two round trips to Rio de Janeiro via Real Airlines, if you can match this. What's your second? 11. 11 is his second number, which shops around and is not... No! I can't You're get away from that. You're a wet sponge, man. You can't get away from that. The board goes back. Bob, it's your turn. Number 22. 22 first. 
There's a Wurlitzer electronic piano. Number 15. 15 might be the mate to it. We'll see. It is not a match. The board goes back, and Walt, it's your turn again. 26. 26 first. 26 comes into view. And see if you can find it. Your second. 10. 10 is his second number. He has shopped and... See nope, that is not a match. That's a carpet. Board goes back. Bob. Number four. Four first. Nothing to lose for you. See if you can find it. Number 25. Number 25 is not a match. Board goes back. Walt, two from you. Two numbers, Walter. 15. 15 first. Now, number, be careful. You have number the, four. Number four. He's going to do something deliberately, maybe. Yes, he has. It's a match. And I like the cavalier way you uh, destroy your wet sponge, which, uh, since that's the only thing that you have to forfeit, that goes automatically to Bob's side of the board. But you get a look at two parts of the puzzle since you made a match, and two more clues come into view. Now, look look hard, Walt, because the game and $100 are yours if you can tell us what the puzzle is at this early stage. Oh, I can't tell. You can't do it yet. All right, two more numbers from you. <clears throat> 18. 18 first. A chapeau. Concentrate now. We've seen that before. Number one. Number one. If you're right, your wife, you've done it. It's a match. That's a good one. And your wife should praise you for this because that's a hat from a leading designer in New York. That's on your side of the board now. These two parts of the puzzle come into view. Now, Walter Farrell, you have the right to guess, if you can, in the next few seconds for that hat or $100 and the game. What is the puzzle? No, I don't know it yet. Not yet. Two more numbers from you then. <clears throat> Number seven. Seven first. Now you get to take the wet sponge right back if you match this. It's the only thing Bob has. It's up there somewhere. All right, see if you can find it. Twenty-one. Twenty-one might be it. We'll see. Is not similar, but not matching. The board goes back. Bob. Number nineteen. Nineteen. And, and seven. And what? Seven. And number seven is a match. Sorry, Walter, but uh, Bob's wife has snatched the chapeau right away from your wife. That goes to Bob's side of the board. And since you made a match, Bob, these two parts of the puzzle come into view. More clues are added. You have that hat, other prizes, and the game. If you can tell us what the puzzle is, just a few seconds. I'm sorry, no. Still too rough for you. All right, give us two more numbers. Number 10. Number 10. There's a carpet. Can you find that? Number 22. 22. We'll see if that has anything to do with it. No, that is not a match. The board goes back. Walt, it's your turn. 28. 28 first. Now, you have nothing to lose, Walter. You have no prizes racked up right now. Can you match that? Quickly. 21. 21. Might be it. Is a match. Goodness. You have no prizes to forfeit. You get a look at two parts of the puzzle since you made a match. Two more clues come into view. Now you've got a little something to go on, uh, Walter. If you can tell us what the puzzle is in the next few seconds, you've got the game and $100. Uh, Time's up. Don't say it if you know. Give us two more numbers. You think you know now. It looks like you know. Give us two more numbers now. And if you keep on making matches, you can keep on guessing. 17. 17 first. A wild card matches anything, Walter. Now, what, what have you seen that you'd like to pin down? I know everything up to the last. 25. 25, he'll take a chance on. We'll see what he gets on the wild card. Oh, he's got it! Automatic match and a really good one here. Way off. Two round trip tickets to Rio de Janeiro. A look at two parts of the puzzle since he made a match. And if he thinks he knows something, he has the right now in the next few seconds to say what it is for those round trips and the game. Walter, what is our puzzle? Look, time's up now. You still have the ball, though. Give us two more numbers. Two more numbers. 29. 29. All right, 29 is first. There's two tickets to Music Man. <clears throat> That's, that. That's a good one. 30. 30. All right, you'll go right next door and see what it is. Not a match. The board goes back as it was. Bob, it's now your turn. Number eight. Number eight first. Number 26. Season. And what? 26. 26 comes into view as a match. <laughs> and a quarter of the television set is now on Bob's side of the board. A look at those two parts of the puzzle since he made a match. 
And the right to guess. Now you've got some clues to go on. Do you have any idea? I what? have it, I think. What is it? Hugh Walter Slazak. Walter Slazak is right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Walter Farrell. His own name, the first part of oh, it I there. I had that. I had, had Slazak, but I was looking for an axe. Look. I don't know what that looked like, bag of sugar That is to too me. bad. Doggone it, you have it. It's absolutely right, though, uh, Bob. Walter Slazak, let's look at the entire puzzle now and see the clues that you did not need. You see the wall and the tur. Here, yeah, that was your own name. I knew that Walter. right away. And the sleigh and the sack. And that's as about as close as you can come to pronouncing that name absolutely correctly. Walter Slazak. The board goes back as it was. <laughs> you had it. By George. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Walter, uh, here on your own name. I feel bad about that. You played well. You might have you might have had it the next match you made and gotten it absolutely right. I we don't want you to uh, go away empty-handed. We want you to have a beautiful Benris wristwatch, which is our consolation prize. Benris is the fine watch of guaranteed accuracy, and uh, we've enjoyed having you here. Okay. Thank you for playing. Concentration. <laughs> when that happens to a policeman. You know, yes, you feel, yes. feel <laughs> Congratulations to you, though, Bob. Let's find out now exactly what you've won. A wet sponge. From now on, you can watch all your favorite television shows with a big screen portable television set. Plus, with a fashionable flair, Miss Alice has created for concentration a beautiful chapeau. Her interpretation of the Parisian silhouette, presented in cooperation with the Millinery Institute of America. I think you're off and running, and your wife should be very happy with what you've done for her. Well, I, I haven't got one as yet. You haven't? Oh, that's still single. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I've been talking about his wife here, and it says not married, right plain as day. Do you plan to be married anytime soon? Uh, you have no... No plans. No immediate plans? All right, George, I wouldn't think it'd be long. You're a good-looking guy. And uh, you're soon to be an attorney, I see. You're studying law. Studying law, yes. You were in the Air Force from, uh, for four years, 53 to 57. That's right. You? You. Did you know at that time that you were going to study law, or was this a... Well, I you? wasn't quite sure when I went into the Air Force. I think I made my decision while I was in. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to uh, make a decision to meet a new opponent here in the next couple of seconds. Uh, you know that you'll go on and possibly rack up other prizes at no risk to the ones that you have won. All right. Meantime, you stand by for just one minute. A busy day can seem twice as difficult if you don't feel your best. So here's a tip to help you be in tip-top condition every day. You watch this. According to some husbands, a woman's day is made up of equal parts of telephone, television, and coffee. But the truth is more like this. Up early every morning. Hurry getting breakfast for the man of the house. Rush getting youngsters off to school. Dash getting clothes ready for the cleaners. No wonder today's mothers need plenty of energy. And so many smart women start every day with one-a-day brand multiple vitamins. Being good cooks, they know how hard it is to be sure that meals alone will supply enough vitamins for best health. But a single one-a-day multiple vitamin tablet daily supplies all the vitamins a person normally needs to take. They prevent vitamin shortage which can make you look and feel older than your years. So buy a package of one-a-day multiple vitamins at the drug counter. Have everyone in your family take them regularly every day. One-a-day brand multiple vitamins. They are just the thing to help you feel your best. One-a-day brand multiple vitamins. All right, Robert Weiswasser, you're all set to meet somebody new? Yes, sir. Shall we? Uh, oh, in just a moment you'll meet somebody new. Let's take some time out right now so stations can identify themselves. We'll be back in a minute. This portion of concentration has been brought to you by... Miles Products, a division of Miles Laboratories, makers of Miles Nervine. One-a-day brand multiple vitamins and other fine pharmaceuticals. We'll continue with the second portion of concentration in just a moment. We pause now for station identification. See the Ford Show, followed by You Bet Your Life, Thursday.
NBC Television Network presents Concentration. This portion brought to you by Dial, the soap that stops odor before it starts. And now, here's your host, Hugh Down. Winner and new champion, Robert Weiswasser. What are you going to do with that hat, Bob? You might, uh, you're not married, but you might get married that way. No, well, uh, I'm you sure know, I'll think of something. I'm sure you will. Make a nice gift, and they say the way to a woman's heart is through her head. I just said that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll meet your new opponent in just a moment. Right now, let's meet a gal who really gets around and yet stays shower fresh all day long. Here's an average housewife in her nice quiet home. Peaceful. Restful, isn't it? How can she look so fresh, so clean? It's a snap when you use dial soap. You feel like you just stepped out of a shower. Hour after hour after hour. Wonderful dial soap. You feel so clean after dial because it destroys bacteria that make perspiration offensive. And this machine proves the dial's deodorant stays on your skin to keep odor away. You can't see it or feel it, but listen. This machine is registering dial's deodorant, showing it's still there 24 hours after you bathe, protecting you all over. And dial keeps fighting odor for days. Aren't you glad you use dial soap? Don't you wish everybody did? All right, you've had a good rest, and yes. we're ready to go. Let's meet your new opponent. A housewife from the Bronx, New York, Mrs. Pat O'Hanlon. <laughs> Pat, this is uh, Bob Weiswasser. And uh, you're going to do battle here in a moment. You understand how the game's played, don't you? Yes, and you look like you're all ready to go. I sure am. You look real happy about it. That's good. You should be. All right, let's play concentration. <laughs> The object of the game, remember, is to solve the puzzle. And the puzzle is either the title of something, a well-known phrase, or something you know. We'll start with two numbers from Pat, one at a time. Oh. Um, I'll take number three. Three first. All right, let's see what three is. Oh. There's a great one, a food freezer. That's a frigid air, and it's a good one. See and number 19. Number 19 might be it. That's the way to find out. Ooh, no, it's not it. It just uh, doesn't match. The board goes back. Remember where they are. Bob, it's your turn. Number 22. 22 first. Uh, shin guard, right? <laughs> Number 15. All right, 15 might be it. A wild card is from there. <laughs> no prize is unimportant. You don't know when you might get kicked. The shin guards go on your side of the board and look at two parts of the puzzle, which is most important, and our first clue as to what the puzzle might be. Do you want to take a wild fling at it? For the I have the slightest idea. Here. No idea? All right. Two more numbers from you, Bob. Number 11. 11. Now, be careful. The shin guards are the only thing you have. They may be very dear to you, so don't... Number 19. 19? We'll see what happens. He did it deliberately. It's a match. <laughs> the shin guards must now go to Pat's side of the board, but you get a look at two parts of the puzzle, and again, Bob, the right to guess if these cl added clues mean anything to you as to what the puzzle is for the game and $100. Can't see it Not at all. <laughs> all right. Two more numbers from you. Number two. Number two first. A cookie cutter, all right. You're getting good ones here. Number seven. Number seven might be it. Not a match. The board goes back as it was. Pat, that's your turn again. I'll take number six. Six first. Oh. There's a jolly one. See if you can match that now. Uh, and number 30. A sable scarf. Number 30 might be it. Oh. No, that is not a match. Remember where they are. The board goes back. Bob, it's your turn. Number 26. 26. And? Number three. Number three, somebody's been concentrating. And that's the precious frigid air freezer on your side of the board now. A look at two parts of the puzzle since a match was made. More clues come into view. Now, Bob, you can pin down that freezer and the game if you can tell us at this early stage what the puzzle is. Do you have any idea? I'm afraid not. None not yet? All. all right, two more numbers from you then. Number 25. 25 first. Now, be careful. The freezer's the only thing you have. If you match this, it goes. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Number six. Number six. Is he playing it safe? He is. It's not a match. The board goes back, and it's Pat's turn. And uh, number 12? 12. 12 first. A 
A vacation oh. in San Juan. That's a great one. See if you can find a uh, Number two. Number two? Nope, not a match. The board goes back and it's Bob's turn. Number five. Five first. There's a there's a dinette set. See if you can find the mate to that. Number 28. 28 might be it. Nope, not a match. The board goes back. Pat, it's your turn again. Number 20. 20 first. 20 comes into view. Ah. Oh, what one was it? Quickly, don't, don't lose your Number turn. six. Number six. She asks if... <laughs> Imported Russian sable scarf on your side of the board, Pat. Okay. You made a match. You get a right to look at two more parts of the puzzle. Clues come into view there. Can you possibly guess in the next few seconds for that sable scarf in the game what the puzzle is? No, I'm afraid not. You want to take a try? No. Okay, your time is up anyway. It's going to be your turn when we come back in one minute since you made the last match. But right now, did you know you're worth your weight in gold? Well, you are. Listen to this message. To introduce bath size dial soap in colors, pink, aqua, as well as familiar gold. Win your weight in gold. That's right. Win your weight in gold at $246.50 a pound. If you weigh 100 pounds, you may win over $24,000. 130 pounds pays over $32,000. 160 pounds, almost $40,000 in cold cash. In addition, 206 big cash prizes. To enter, finish a two-line jingle starting, Dial is wonderful. Last word in both lines must rhyme. For example, Dial is wonderful when I take a shower. Then I'm odor-free hour after hour. Or Dial is wonderful, colorful too. Choose pink, choose gold, new aqua too. Get complete rules and official entry blanks only in these special money-saving bath size Dial packs. If your dealer hasn't got them, ask him to get them. But hurry, contest closes December 24th. You may win your weight in gold. And good luck to you. Pat, it's your turn. Two numbers. Uh, let's see. Number nine. Nine first. Now you get to take the freezer away from Bob if you can find that. Number 21. Number 21. Might be it. But uh, it is not it. The board goes back as it was. And Bob, have you been concentrating? Number five. Five. And? Number 21. And number 21 is a match. Got it. Set. It's on Bob's side of the board to look at those two parts of the puzzle since he made a match and two more clues. Now look carefully, Bob. You've got that freezer and the dinette set. Can you tell us what the puzzle is? I'm sorry, nothing Not, slightly. Nothing rings a bell. All right, give us two more numbers. Number 18. 18 first. A square peg. <laughs> Number 27. Number 27. Not a match. The board goes back and it's Pat's turn again. Number 24. 24 first. That's a nice one. Tropical fish in a 10-gallon aquarium. Can you find a mate to that? Number one. Number one might be it. We'll see. Here's the match. Here's the aquarium on that side of the board. A look at those two parts of the puzzle and possibly added clues. Maybe what you need. Now look, look hard, Pat, for that sable scarf and your other prizes. Can you tell us what the puzzle is? Just a few seconds. Time's up. Give us two more numbers. Still your turn. Number um, 20, number 30. Number 30, all right. 30 comes into view. Okay. Whirlpool bath. That's an appliance that fits in the bathtub. Very nice. Can you find it? Uh, number 14. 14 might be it. We'll see. 14 comes... Yep. No, that is not. That's a supply of frozen food. The board goes back. It's Bob's turn. Number 29. 29. And? Number 14. Number 14. He sounded like he wasn't sure, but it's a bath. There's a nice, that's a big assortment, complete assortment of frozen food. A nice one to go along with that freezer you have racked up. A look at two parts of the puzzle since you made a match. Now, Bob, in the next few seconds, can you tell us what the puzzle is to pin down that freezer and other prizes and the game? I'm sorry, no. Still nothing, huh? All right, two more numbers from you. It's still your turn. Number 16. 16. And? I think it's number 18. I'm not number sure. 18? You should remember an important one like that. It is a match! a square peg goes up on your side of the board in a round hole, and you get a look at two parts of the puzzle since you made a match. More clues. Now you still have, you have four marvelous prizes there. Can you tell us what the puzzle is in just a few seconds, Bob? No, I'm sorry. Doesn't add up yet. Two more numbers from you, then. Number 
23. 23 comes into view. Vacation in San Juan. Have we seen that before? Number 12. Number 12? He calls number 12, and it is a match! <laughs> Vacation in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Stay at uh, El Barranquita Hotel. A look at two parts of the puzzle. More clues now for the San Juan vacation and your other prizes in the game. Bob, can you tell us what the puzzle is? It doesn't do anything for you nope. yet. Your time's up. Give us two more numbers. Number 17. 17 first. A wild card matches anything, Bob. Have you seen something you'd like to pin down? Gee, I don't remember. Number 8. 8. All right, we'll see what 8 is. He shot. <laughs> They were taken away from you, and you got them back that way. All right, on a wild card match, two parts of the puzzle come into view. More clues now for the freezer and many other fine prizes. Can you tell us, Bob, what the puzzle is? Just a few seconds. No, I'm sorry. Can you give us two more numbers, then? Number two. Two first. A cookie cutter. We've seen it before. Concentrate. Number 28. 28? We'll see what 28 is. It's not a match. The board goes back as it was. Pat, it's your turn. Number four. Four first. And? Number 20, 28. 28 is oh. not a match. The board goes back. Bob, it's your turn. <coughs> Number 30. Number 30? And? Number four. Number four is a match. side of the board, a look at two parts of the puzzle since he made a match. More clues. Now, look, think hard. Bob, you've got that vacation in San Juan. Many other fine prizes. Can you tell us in just a few seconds what the puzzle is? Nope, not, not to... Oh, and that signal means our time is up for today. We'll be back in a second to find out about both of your returning tomorrow. Right now, Nabisco, bakers of all your favorite cookies and crackers invites you to visit Carol Reed, who has a new idea for happy eating. Hi, I'm Carol Reed. You know, these crisp, cold days sure have the youngsters bustling home for after-school snacks, huh? And here's one. We call them Cracker Snackers. You just take your family's favorite filling, peanut butter, jam, maybe even marshmallow, put it between two crisp premium saltines, and there you are. You know, premium tastes so good with spreads of any kind. They stay fresh and crisp because of the special wax wrapping. See, inside every package of premium saltines are reclosable stacks of single crackers that keep premium fresh and crisp right down to the very last cracker. You just open one stack at a time, take out as many of the saltines as you wish. Let me see, I have three more to make. And if my Christopher doesn't eat these pretty soon, his mother will. They taste so good. And then close them back up again, and I might add that the rest of the crackers stay fresh and crisp. So, may I tell you that the next time you're out shopping, won't you make yours premium saltines baked only by Nabisco? Mm-hmm. Well, just after the bell rang, they both got it simultaneously. The time was up, of course. We were going to show them the puzzle anyway. Since they didn't get it, let's look at the entire puzzle. You know what it is, don't you? Misery loves company. Misery loves company. Tomorrow, when we come back, we'll have a brand new puzzle. The remaining prizes will be changed around. Prizes you now have credited to you will remain credited. And we'll see you both tomorrow, all right? Okay, see you tomorrow, too, we hope. Thank you for playing Concentration. The second half of Concentration has been brought to you by Dial, the soap that keeps you sour fresh all day long. Prices on in concentration are transported courtesy of Dean Van Line, the nation's fastest growing household mover. That's Dean, the Dean of American Movers.